after Jesus had died on the cross and had risen from the dead, but just before he ascended into the clouds, he said to his disciples, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. This week at Calvary, as we continue our stewardship focus for the month of October, we are looking at what it means to be witnesses for Jesus. Being a witness is part of our fulfilling God's purpose. But as I was thinking about our focus text for this week, from the first chapter of Acts and from the 10th chapter of Luke, I was struck by the dichotomy of the word witness. I mean, to be a witness means that we are present to see something happen or we've experienced an event unfolding. Yet then being a witness then qualifies us to testify or to witness about it to others. So when we think about being witnesses for Jesus in the world, it's actually important for us to consider what have we witnessed? I mean, the disciples were qualified to testify to Jesus because of what they had seen and heard in their journey with Jesus. They witnessed firsthand our awesome God's righteousness and loving kindness and providence and redemption and healing and faithfulness, trustworthiness and saving grace. And because they experienced this, they were called to be witnesses, to go out to the ends of the earth. But what qualifies us to witness for Jesus? To echo Psalm 96 and say, Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Well, consider how you have witnessed God's love and care in your own life. Where have you seen the mighty power of God at work? How has God's providence carried you through a difficult time? You see, our God is faithful, and our belief in that qualifies us to be witnesses to the ends of the earth. But see, we don't do it alone. We have received the power of the Holy Spirit, and it is through God's very breath, God's in being dwelling within us, that we are called and empowered to go on our way. You know, I can't help but think of the butterfly, a creature that begins small and confined to a life lived low and slow. But having been fed by the mercy and care of the creator, it then transforms into a fluttering beauty, invited to spread its wings and fly. This week, may you hear the call to spread your wings and fly to the ends of the earth. And just as a butterfly pollinates flowers as it goes, may your witness in word and deed spread the love of Jesus, the joy of God's grace, and create blossoms of belief in all that God has done for us. I look forward to seeing you in worship.